beautiful people, welcome back! I am Eleftheria, I am a front-end developer and I'm taking over the challenge Daily UI. If you haven't been following me, that's okay. We are going to code some HTML, CSS, AngularJS and Angular Material UI kind of things. If you are following me, then that's great. Thank you so much for all your support and let's keep coding let's keep rolling so as i've mentioned today i'm in day four of daily ui and this means that i have to do a calculator pretty much i have in my mind the things that i want to do with this calculator it's going to be something simple so i believe that if you are a beginner then this is totally something for you as an inspiration, this time I just look my app on my mobile phone and it was the native app, so it was something simple. I will try to do something really similar with the app that I have on my phone. As for the structure that I have right here, I'm on CodePen and just um, I would like to clarify one thing that I will have all the links that you want that you're going to see me typing i'm going to have it in the description below uh there will be two links one for codepen which is where i'm at right now and one for github so you can check the code from whatever suits you best as for the codepen right now i'm going to click in the html so here for the css um, i'm just using angular material Whereas for the JavaScript, I have a couple of things, but I'm not going to be using all of them. And actually, we're not going to write anything at the JavaScript part. Everything will be in the HTML and in the CSS. So this is my structure, um, like a head and then a body, nothing else. Now here, it's the theme for today and in the working area, is the place that we are going to write all of our code and this is the footer so maybe you don't want footer because for me this is the footer and maybe you don't want to have a header so the only thing that you're going to be needed is the working area as for the css i have like four classes here one for the body which is like color and stuff one for the theme which is this part right here one for the working area, which is this middle part. And last but not least, we have some things for the um, footer. Again, you don't need the footer. Maybe you don't even need the body. It's okay. Let's start typing. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is creating div. Uh, the simplest thing that you can do in HTML. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is creating a layout with a row. Now I got this thing row from uh, material. So this is from AngularJS material. And the next thing that I want is the layout align. I'm going to have this as center and again center. This is to center everything of course. And inside here, let's see what I want. I want to have an empty container. Again, the empty container, container, sorry. It's from the Angular JS material. Okay, and inside here, I'm probably going to have my label. So I'm going to have again, label. Uh, it will say hit me so this is where the user will write stuff and below that I'm also going to need an input okay great for the input I'm going to have just a name um, you need this for the JavaScript part so yeah <laughs> calculations okay that would be the name awesome i think that you have a great start mm, do i need anything else for now let's say no okay uh next thing that i'm going to be doing is let's take this part right here and like this okay 
that I'm going to be using again a div layout row with layout align center and center and I'm going to have some buttons this time oops I forgot that shouldn't be here sorry or okay maybe that's okay let it be here so now inside here I'm going to create four buttons so let's start typing md buttons our button okay let's close that one and the type I'm not going to have the type so or okay if you want you can have something like type the most usual one is submit although we're not going to submit anything for now I'm going to copy that part right here and paste it below so I need this four times and so now I'm going to copy all this thing here right here let's say one two three four times hmm maybe even five times let's see well the first thing that I want here is create um, a class let's name that class equals uh, other buttons again I'm going to copy maybe paste it here okay that looks cool I guess I can even have it right here I'm going to show you in a bit what we are going to be adding in this class okay and now as I see in my app I have like an M C an M plus where is the plus okay an M minus oops minus and then an MR great uh, what else okay let's take this class other buttons and or let's also create the calc button I'm going to take that one right here let's do it like this okay great let me paste it also oops here and then we will be ready to start writing that in the HTML oh did I write but Button. Okay, that's button. Sorry for that, but now we are ready. After the working area, I'm going to have the class of calc button. Now, hmm, I think that I want to have a couple of things like font size of 1.4 yam and this has to be important because otherwise it will get the classes from the empty buttons which are the default one so that's why I added the important now I also have the background color which is this like greenish thing I don't know I'm not very good with colors and then I also need a padding a margin and a border I think with that I'm going to be okay but now I also noticed another thing that I don't really like that hit me part let's also fix that so I'm going above the calc button and here I'm going to be adding the MD input container with a background color again this will be that gray one and then the border bottom of four pixels solid and luck okay what's wrong with our um empty container oh we should have right the word input now this is correct great uh let's keep moving with what else what else what else okay second line here we have the c 
and then we have the this one multiply I'm going to add the X and here also I'm going to have that one okay do I need any other class here mm, this time I'm going to take the other buttons and I think that we don't actually have to write this here maybe you can take that one and also add it in this part right here I'm going to add actually a new class let's name that other button color okay and let's write that part after the calc button mm, and here I'm going to add a new color I will have it as a background color and it will be like an important and a light blue again you do need the light blue and the important of course okay next thing uh, let's do it like that great and now I will have here like a seven eight nine and then the minus for the minus I think first of all okay let's do it like this adding the class everywhere of calc button and other buttons and then in the minus one I want to make it look a little bit different so I'm also going to add another class the okay this one right here the other button scholar which is the same one as this one the other button scholar now I think that we are one step closer okay um, I'm going to be doing here seven eight nine and then I need four five six okay four five six and the last one will be uh, the plus for the plus again I'm going to be using the other buttons and color okay okay first let's take like this because again I do need a class but I will not use the other buttons right now so I'm just going to take the class of calc button okay and now for the plus I'm going to take also that class great and I have like one more thing right here which is going to be the one two three and equal I'm going to be using the same class so as you can see I do repeat some things and I'm just going to add some classes if you think that this is something easy then that's great you can create your own and you can change it a little bit maybe add some stuff um, I don't know however you like it uh, but now what else okay I'm also going to take one more time this part I'm going to add it below and this time I'm going to have some other symbols like uh, the percentage of course I do need the zero point and comma for these classes I just I'm just going to have the calc button but I think that for the equal I want a new class maybe this one the equal button so let's write also the equal button what should we have here maybe you could change a little bit the color what do you think I think that a background color of 
light, golden, rolling, yellow and important will look nice. Okay, a few other changes. Let me think what else I need. Maybe for the other buttons color, I'm going to have it uh, like a blue one. I'm going to add it here. Okay, now I think that we are doing something better. But I don't like that much the MD input container here. Or I don't like that much also this line some right here. If we fix that, then I guess that we are ready. Let's start with the hit me. I have the layer throw the layout a line. And in the end, oops, sorry, I'm actually here. The center, okay, and here in the empty container, I think that if we add a flex of 100, it will look better. That's it. I prefer it, I guess. For the MC, I want to change a little bit of the colors. So I'm going to add... Okay, this is other buttons. But here I have it as other buttons color. Why do I have this two times? I'm going to have it like this. So the background color will be a light blue and the other buttons color will be just blue. Okay, again, now we are better. I don't think that I want this to be in 7, 8, 9. Okay, so do you have it here, here, but no, I don't think that I want it here. Okay. Now I like it like this. Do I need to change anything else? I guess no. I do like that. But if you have any other recommendation, then please leave it in the, um, in the comments below. And that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget, if you liked it, to like, share and subscribe. That would be awesome. And again, if you want to find the same code that I just wrote, then you can find it either on CodeSpan or you can find it on GitHub. Thank you very much for watching and have an amazing day by coding and creating amazing stuff. See you really soon. Bye!